Hello, my name is Caleb Clark. I'm an educational technologist at Putney Central School in Southern Vermont. So what I'm going to show you now is what I built this summer while I was playing Fortnite with students at the school who were home from COVID and playing Fortnite anyway. I thought I would join them and we had a great time. I'm a terrible player, but they're very supportive. From playing Fortnite with them, I thought, how can we use this for education? And I want to show you an example of something I built in Fortnite Creative Island that is for a lesson plan I'm making that takes a student's passion and directs it for something educational. Here we go into the Pyramid of Menkari, an accurate-ish reproduction to scale of one of the Great Pyramids. That would be an example of what a student could create with this lesson plan. So once you come into an island when you're playing a game, you drop in. I'm going to stop the drop and just look at the pyramid. Pyramids were white when they were first built, often with gold on the top. That's all sand. That's the causeway to the water that helped them build. Now we're going to go down to this pyramid and play the game. Now, so now I'm playing the game. I'm going to get a hoverboard. Now this game has you collect five pyramids and then play King of the Hill at the top. And I built all of this from scratch. It took forever. This has some credits, some information about the real pyramid, credits, and why this pyramid looks white. The pyramids were incredibly shiny and white when they were first built, but it of course fell off and now they're just piles of rocks, or I should say sculpted cut stone. Now by building the inside of a pyramid, I learned, and the kids would learn, the um, would learn the exact layout because you have to measure all of this to build it and find all these materials. This is a rough approximation of the Great Pyramid. It had different rooms. I've tried to create the materials as well. This is the great room. of this particular pyramid. And this is the tomb. Of the fourth dynasty Egyptian pharaoh, Menkari. This room, they don't exactly know what it was because it had six strange bays. Now as we run through here, I'll show you a schematic of what the real pyramid looked like inside. So I had to measure all these in the real pyramid and then I decided to make the pyramid hollow but of course pyramids are not hollow and students would learn that. The reason I made it hollow is so that you can see the layout that you see on graphics of this pyramid. And if it was filled with stone we couldn't see this. Now if you compare this to the schematics and what we know this looks pretty accurate. It only took me 5,000 hours. No, not quite as many. 
Luckily, I had help from lots of players, mostly quite disturbingly young in terms of how much they helped me. I felt pretty, pretty uh, old. <laughs> There's amazing granite that held up the roof above the tomb. So, now the kids are playing the game in here. And by playing the game over and over with their friends, their friends could learn what the inside tunnels of a pyramid looked like. Uh, let me get our hoverboard to get up top. Whoa. Up here, you've got to stay for five seconds to see that go up. Fight off your friends until, oh, oh, I have a party invite from one of my students. I'm going to go play with him in a minute and see how he's doing. It's really my excuse for playing with them was not only my own fun during COVID being trapped inside, but to check on them in this difficult time. I won! The lesson plan I'm making for teachers has students who are interested in Fortnite use Fortnite's creative island to build one of the wonders of the world. The Great Pyramids, Chichen Itza, the Great Wall of China. And they build them to scale as they look new or now and then make some gameplay around them. Exploratory, creative, nonviolent, violent. And by doing this, they learn a lot about the Great Wall of China, for instance, or one of the Great Pyramids. They learn about the inside. They learn how big it is. They learn about art and design, about how these great objects were built, engineering, science. And they can use this for credit at school if a teacher uses this lesson plan which is aligned to standards. 